Welcome back to Let's Play Ghostbusters. I'm Burning Dog Face. I don't know where we are, rightly. I blew up with me. I blew up that giant obelisk that we really should have attacked earlier. And uh this was underneath it. At least the guys seem calm. Oops. Nope, can't break off that lock. It's not steam, not more locks, but there's plenty of ghosts. You're right about that. There's more consistent, accelerated people in blowing through here than I've ever seen. But this is not the origin point. This is just a conduit. Wait, this whole place Look is... Look at the trail! The chairman went that way! He's running down this tunnel! A ghost pipe system? Someone is channeling ghosts somewhere? Oh dear. Oh, there's an artifact here. How could there not be? The cursed artifact is a miniature Ecto-1. A remote-controlled Ecto-1 that twitches and whirs on its own. Remote-controlled Ecto-1, circa 1987. Created as part of the merchandising flood that followed the Ghostbusters' initial success, this remote-controlled Ecto-1 was a personal favorite, of, oh, was a favorite among the fans. Judging from its occasional twitching and wheel spinning, this particular car seems to have a run-in with a low-level possessing sprite who has somewhere else to be. I should probably head back to the guys. What do you guys think we should do? Well, if the ghosts are flowing that way, I don't know, it's actually coming from this way now that I think about it. Look down there. It's so goddamn creepy. Well, you could have put this there a bit earlier. Yep, someone's been down here recently. This place is huge. I get the impression of a cathedral from it for some reason. Fuck it then, I'll take the lead. Question is, where does it lead? Watch my back, guys. Does it feel weird in here to you guys? Like, familiar weird? Don't look at me. The chairman wants more, that's what I well, heard. Well, we knew which way to go for a while, at least. There's got to be another way around this. The trail leads to the sealed door that stops. Man, I do not want this trip ball to get away again. Black slime weakened the wall. What'd you have against that wall? It, uh... The new cadet's alright. Well, so far, not too shabby. Egon, I it think disrespected my sister? I don't know. New CPS. The Mizan Collider is extremely precise and deals a lot of damage. It takes a while to recharge. 
The overload pulse disperses a rapid burst of meson particles. You can fire each of them independently. They both work great. Wait. But you can also use them in tandem. Paint a target using the meson collider. After you've acquired the target, all expulsions from the overload pulse will home in on that target. Whoa! I like this weapon. The Mison Collider launches a, a brief stream of hyper-compacted particles, creating a very effective long-range particle stream. The Misung Collider fires a very focused energy stream, so careful aiming is required, but it is very effective at medium to long uh, ranges. I thought it was going to be a sniper rifle for a moment there. The first target hit by Misung Collider is marked by a powerful beacon that will draw the weapon's alternative fire, fired, <laughs> overload pulse projectiles. Oh, alternative fired overload pulse projectiles, I could have made that clear resulting in a powerful combined fire homing system. Triggering the overload pulse releases a rapid fire stream of highly unstable and potentially volatile particles. If a Mison Collider tagged homing target is active, these overload pulse projectiles will home in on it. See the training entry of the Mison Collider for more in information. Overload pulse projectiles are launched without an active homing target firing a straight, unguided, and less accurate line. New lights. It is a thing of beauty, isn't it? I guess I should have this thing ready. Don't stick your hand in that, guys. See, just in case it wasn't clear, this is the Mason Collider. Uh, semi-automatic. Uh, yeah, this is about as fast as I can fire it. And this is the overload pulse. I feel like I should have switched those names. Looks like the light is... a slightly yellower version of the uh, existing orange one. I want to see what happens if I could drain this one and not refill it manually. Does it stick the pipes out of the uh, recharging post? Or the venting post, rather. Nope. Well, it wouldn't really make sense if it did that, but whatever. Nice lock. Creepy. Wait, where the fuck are we going? I don't like this at all. Like even more dangerous in the river of slime below New York in the Latin the second movie. Oh my, so much black slime. Oh, it just seems like a lot because it's alive. The column, it's flowing upwards. If you see a big yellow eye in there, poke it with something. No yellow eye, Ray. Maybe it already went up there. Well. That doesn't sound good. Ah, oh, that's a dead noise. Is it noise. my turn to lead? I don't want to jump in front. I'll do it. Hello, Chen. 
Ready to get what's coming to you? Hey guys, this episode ran on really long, so I'm gonna cut it off here and post it in two parts. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghostbusters. Later!